Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. This, I think, is the fifth video in the series where we're looking at different guitar techniques. And in this video, we're going to be looking at alternate picking. So why do we use alternate picking or why do I use alternate picking? Well, I tend to use alternate picking if I'm playing, if I want to play fast, first of all, and if I want to play accurately, and if I want to play a certain note value. So for instance, if I want to play 16th notes and I want to play a run of 16th notes, I will use alternate picking as my hand is acting like a metronome and it's keeping me in time. So we're going to look at a couple of different exercises. Now, the first one we're going to be looking at is just going to be a simple scale. Now, as before, as in all the other technique videos that we've done, we're going to be using a three note per string scale. And again, I'm going to be using an A minor scale, but I'm going to be starting from the third fret, the G on the E string. And that sounds like this. So that's one exercise. And the reason why we're looking at a three note per string scale is because every time you change a string, you've got to play the alternate picking position. So for instance, if I play this acoustically, down, up, down. Now moving to the next string and I've got to play an up note. Depending on how you've been taught, you might have been taught to play down, up, down, down as we're moving to the next string. Now to me, this is a technique that's valid, although I tend not to use this as I tend to lose time and I tend to be sloppier if I'm playing like this. Let's just play it again. So it's down, up, down, up, down, up. And if I play the scale from high to low, down, up, 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 down, up. The next exercise we're going to look at is a string skipping exercise. Now, the reason why this is great is because it gets your hand used to moving in time, but skipping strings. So again, we're using the same pecking technique. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And faster, that sounds like this. Now when I'm playing this exercise, I personally prefer to start with an upstroke. As when I start with an upstroke, my hand is moving in the direction of the next note. And I find that I can actually play this quicker, starting with an upstroke. Now lastly, we're gonna look at what I guess you've been waiting for, which is how to play fast. Now we're gonna use another three note per string scale. We're gonna stick with an A minor scale, but we're gonna start from the 13th fret on the E string, which is an F note. Now the great thing about this scale is that it's really symmetrical. So using fourth finger, third finger, first finger, fourth finger, third finger, first finger on the first two strings. On the next two strings, you move into the 12th fret and it's fourth finger, second finger, first finger, and exactly the same on the next string. So the first four strings, and the last two strings, which is 12, 10, 8, 12, 10, 8. Now this is a bit of a stretch, as is the first scale we looked at. But the way that I use this is fourth finger, second finger, first finger, fourth finger, second finger, first finger. So that sounds like this. Now the way that I can play fast is by using two different techniques. Now one thing what I like to do is to curl my fingers into the palm of my in the palm of my hand. Now if I do that, I find the balance in my hand is much better and I can get a much cleaner pick attack. And I can actually move a bit quicker as well. And the other technique is starting with a downstroke. Now if I start with a downstroke, we can use like an almost economy picking technique where I'm playing down, up, down. Now moving to the next string, as I'm moving up, it's an upstroke. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. 
Now I'm going to play that twice. And then I'm going to move to the next two strings, but I'm starting from the B string. So, so far it sounds like this. Now by playing that and doubling up on the B string, it means that we're always attacking the first note as a downstroke. And as we're moving this way up the neck, the pick has got less distance to travel. So if I play again. Now if I play that faster, fluffed a note up there but you get the idea okay and then with a little bit of drive and in the neck position sounds like this i'm paul from the studio rats i really hope you guys got something out of that if you did get something out of it don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the bell button all the usual stuff and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the studio rats i'm paul and i'll see you next time cheers